Welcome to Dota in Depth, uh, part three, with shamming. Uh, so we're talking about last hitting still. So I've gone over a lot of things already. Um, I would say one thing to do it is use your mana wisely, but don't be afraid to use your mana because you can always get more. Um, if you're a mid laner and you're afraid of getting ganked or want to gank, you want to keep your health and mana higher than other heroes. But if you're just in lane, don't be afraid to bomb out all your health and mana. And then just, if, especially if you have a lane partner, you can go back and get some more. Uh, so if you want to harass and you don't want to aggro the creeps, um, see if you if I right click on my thing attack axe see how the creeps attack me but I didn't want that so if I turn it off right click on it again and then I just hit Q and left click oh, I'm a controlling axe that's annoying okay uh, see a Q attack him there and the creeps don't aggro me it's called orb walking and that's a way to manage the the creeps aggro and not be harassed by them. Let's just kill Axe for fun. Bomb, you're gonna die, Axe. Um And then uh know your hero's turning speed. Okay, I see you like uh, like pros or high MMR players will just like they'll just chill and face the creep wave. They won't like they won't dance around like this, especially if it's not necessary, right? Like, well, oh, where am I? If like you're not worried about being stunned or hooked by Pudge or something, you can just sit and face the creep wave. And that way you don't have to take into account the turning radius of your hero, um, which you should be aware of. It wouldn't hurt to look it up before the game. What's my hero's turning speed? Or just know your hero by playing it a lot. Uh, so keep that in mind that it's easier if you're just facing the creep wave. Bomb. You wait for it. You're facing it. You don't have to keep, see I missed that one there, but you don't have to keep the turning, I don't have to worry about how long does it take me to turn and then attack, I just attack straight up. And then, um, be unpredictable. That helps to confuse your enemy and makes last hitting easier for you. If you keep doing the same things over and over or do what they expect of you then you give them an easier time and make it easier for them to last hit and harder for you but if you do things that are unpredictable you can take your enemy by surprise and then give you an advantage maybe you can even kill your opponent in the lane and get a bigger advantage that way so try not to be too predictable in your actions see I was hitting uphill there like I'm almost on the top of the hill but I'm still not uphill so I missed that one attack so just make sure you are at the top of the hill uh, there's kind of like an invisible line right around here in any situation like this is a hill this is a hill this is a hill this is a hill anything that looks like stairs the entrance to the Roshan pit uh, yeah pretty much all the hills look like stairs so make sure you're not lasting up hill and then another thing too is like especially if you're mid is is important for last hitting is rune control because uh, that gives you an advantage over your opponent so if you pick a hero with more mobility or that can push out lanes before the rune spawn and rune spawn every two minutes two minutes four minutes six minutes etc throughout the whole game uh, then you can definitely uh, have an advantage in last hitting uh, I think it one good thing to do is just like quickly kill the creep wave just before like say if this was uh, five minutes and fi 45 seconds and I would want to just kill all the creeps as fast as possible and have my creeps be attacking the enemy's tower and then go get the rune because they're then they're like put it in a rock and hard place do i miss the last hits and let my tower take damage for the rune or do i get the rune so that lets you have more rune control and uh gives you more advantage for last hitting overall and for if you can get runes that can help you gank and level up faster and just win the game and then uh, don't discount uh, items like uh, that can really harass your opponents. For example, uh, Blightstone lowers your opponent's armor by two, and Orb of Venom does po poison damage and slows their movement speed over time. So uh, I don't see people buy those items a lot, maybe on Bounty Hunter or certain heroes, but it really actually, they're 
great items to have, especially if you're building into a hero that builds a Desolator, because that's a component with the Blightstone. Uh, also, the Medallion of Courage. So even like um, a Slardar or a Dazzle or heroes like that that often build Medallion of Courage, it's good to get a Blightstone really early, and then just you're doing more damage, and you're d doing more damage to everything. So I don't know if it works on the buildings. Um, that's a good question. I don't know, um, but I can find out. And then the other thing is the Orb of Venom. The, unfortunately, it only builds into Eye of Scotty, which is really expensive, like game item that not a lot of people build right away. So that one, I would say, it's still good, but it's like think about what other items that you might build on your hero that's more effective. But it is a really great harass item that can push your opponents out of lane faster and give you an advantage especially if you're like playing a hero like spirit breaker or one that like just harasses and wants to or bounty hunter is another good example ricky where you're just trying to harass and kill your opponents early in game uh then that could be a really effective item to have to help you uh, navigate and the other thing too is um the orb of venom can get last hits for you if you miss and one thing i didn't mention is wait till the hero or not hero, the creep gets extremely low in health because people often like see when there's that many creeps tagging but you want the creep to be as low as possible so you don't miss like that uh, even if there's just a sliver but you also don't want to like leave it up so your opponent gets a deny. See how low that creep was? Like that's perfect. Um, obviously in a lot of situations won't allow for that because their health will be falling too quickly so you have to time it missed there see so missed there see how i didn't wait for them to have like a sliver of health so it's really just a lot of timing and practice so yeah i'm, I'm gonna post uh i have a list of more in detail as well as a sidebar to the my last hitting guides because not everything i uh, wrote about was covered most of it was but not everything so check out my written guide as well that'll be uh in the link below on my website and also when i set up my facebook uh, group it'll be on there as well and i hope you learned something useful and uh, please uh subscribe to my youtube channel and i will post more valuable content in the future thanks for watching dota in depth my name is shamming and have a great day